Hi, so I was gone for a few weeks and when I came back, one of the first things I did was to turn the wireless router back on again. I tested the internet and everything seemed to be working fine until I actually went to the backyard. As soon as I got there, I realized my phone was disconnected from the Wi-Fi. That was weird because I remember I always had a good connection in the backyard. I also tested my tablet and it had the same problem. Sorry to interrupt, but um, as I was editing the video, I realized I forgot to say something. So I want to add it here. Basically, when I was in the backyard, which is right there, I was still receiving a rather strong signal from the wireless router and it wasn't like the signal was weak or something like that. I was just not able to connect. Okay, so uh, sorry, back to the video. So what is going on? What is the problem? I don't get it. Usually when I have a network problem, one of the first questions I ask is, have you recently made any changes? No, nothing important. The last thing I actually remember I changed was just the transmit power. Nothing important. So... It looks like we have a mismatched power settings between the wireless router and my phone. Basically, I have set the transmit power on my wireless router to 100 milliwatt, which is a lot because my phone is only able to use maximum 20 milliwatt for its transmit power. Mobile devices such as phones and tablets have limited batteries, so in order to minimize the power consumption, they use maximum 20 or maybe 25 milliwatt transmit power. So right now this difference between the transmit powers is actually causing this connection problem. When I go to the backyard, my phone can receive the signal from the wireless router. It is obviously strong enough to reach the backyard. My wireless router on the other hand cannot receive the phone's signal because it is not as strong as it should be. Basically the phone can hear the router, but the router cannot hear the phone. This is supposed to be a two-way bi-directional connection. And because one way is broken, therefore the whole communication is going to be broken. Basically, configuring a wireless router or an access point to transmit at full power is usually not a very good idea. Some people might want to try it so they can increase the range of their Wi-Fi as much as possible. But based on what we saw here, we know that it's not going to work like that. Using too much power can also cause other problems too. A better way would be to increase the antenna gain of the wireless router or the access point. If I just replace my antenna with a high gain antenna, then not only it amplifies the transmitted signal, but also it amplifies the received signal too. And in my case the wireless router will be able to hear the phone too, and the communication is gonna be successful. But I don't think if I wanna replace the antenna, because let's say, for example, if I install a high gain omnidirectional antenna, which basically transmits equally in all directions horizontally, then it is possible that my neighbor is also going to receive my Wi-Fi. I want to avoid that as much as possible because, first of all, it is not very secure if others can see my Wi-Fi. Also, my Wi-Fi might interfere with their Wi-Fi, so it is bad for both of us. So maybe I should move my wireless router a little bit. Or install a directional antenna. Luckily I didn't have to do any of that because I just remembered that I actually have a second wireless router and I had forgotten to turn it on. I was using it as an access point to extend the range of my wireless network. That is basically why I had a good coverage in my backyard before. This also has another benefit for me. This way I can do a little bit of load balancing. Because I have too many wireless devices and if I use only one wireless router, I can easily overload the router. This way though I can divide the wireless clients between the two of them. Okay, so after what happened today, at least now I know when there is a problem in my Wi-Fi, I should first determine the root cause of the problem. 
And something that might help me in that process would be to look for any recent changes. For example, any recent hardware or configuration changes. In my case, I had changed the transmit power when I was working on a different project and I had forgotten to set it back to its original value. And not to mention that I forgot that I had a secondary router. Now I also know that just randomly increasing the transmit power or maybe trying to use the maximum transmit power is not necessarily going to increase the range or speed. It can cause many other problems that can make things even worse. I should also be careful that I'm not exceeding the maximum allowed transmit power in my country. Each country has its own rules regarding the transmit power. Usually many wireless problems can be avoided with a good network design and site survey. For example, if I know how many users are going to use the network, then I can better decide what kind of hardware I should use that can handle that many users. Is one wireless router or access point enough or maybe I should use more? I should also know about the coverage area. Are there any obstacles that might block the signal? Where I should install the access point or the wireless router and what kind of antennas should be used? How's the channel utilization in that area? Are there any channels that I should avoid because they're congested? So basically doing a proper site survey can answer all those questions for me and help me to design a good quality wireless network. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Please like it if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you again and I see you next time.